Hey guys, this is X Peter C1 with another redstone contraption. What I have here is a RAM um, array. It's really compact, I have to say, because this is uh, these are all D flip flops. Wherever you see the repeaters, everywhere where it is four Y and four high is one D flip flop. However, the problem is that it was 20 long because of the uh, modifi modification I had to make to it, which would allow two different input. Uh, two different bit enablers well actually one bit enabler one clock and one input so this is sort of modified but it still ex acts exactly like a D flip-flop so let's make a selection here let's put each one of these um, alternating so let's enable the bit uh, bit enabler so the selection has been made however nothing has changed until I enable the clock so let's put it on the first one as you can see, it has taken the selection. Now that um, I have I have the inputs in there, let's just choose uh, something else. Maybe I don't like this, so let's say let's just put this over here and this right next to this as well. So you can see nothing has changed yet, but if I enable a bit uh, for the clock, the data changes. So instead of just writing to the first one, I can also write to the second one. Or if I don't like that, uh, we'll change it back and change the first uh, row. So there we go. Beside using the um, the second uh, first bit enabler, we can also choose the second bit enabler, which will be to access the second column. So let's just choose something easy. So this three over here is on. Let's just put it on the second one. Instead of overwriting over here, it writes over here. If we were to overwrite here, we would have to enable the bit over here. Also, uh, this is already 8 bits, as you can see by these netteracks. However, to make this all into 16 bits, all I have to do is put a repeater right here, and bam. This is 16 bits I can write to. So let's just put that on the top. So there, I have six, this is written in 16 bits for one byte. So it's very easy to uh, uh, configure it, this into many different forms. However, this is just one, uh, this is just one piece. This is four kilobytes of RAM. This is by far the largest RAM configuration there is in Minecraft at the moment. This is uh, by 127 high. This is 240 or 231 uh, wide. And this is um, 174 uh, long from, the, from, from there the, all the way to the end over here. So it's really compact for four kilobytes. However, the, the four kilobytes in computer terms is 4,096 bytes, uh, bit, bits, oh yeah, bytes. But uh, my configuration, since of Minecraft and how I built with the redstone, it only allowed uh, 4,060 bytes. But that's pretty close to 4,096 bytes. So I could say this is just, um, well, yeah, basically, this is four kilobytes. And to put that in bits, that's 32,480 bits in this uh, configuration. And uh, for those that want to know how uh, uh, understand a little bit more, that's 32,480 flip, uh, D flip-flops in this configuration. So let's actually write something. So uh, let's go to the first... Let's go to the first uh, byte, so which is over here. Sorry, I'm really lagging now because there's so many uh, redstones going on and off. So let's choose uh, a configuration that's easy. It seems I have written something on it already. There we go. It was alternating, I remember that. So let's actually just overwrite that and put this in instead. So I have overwritten it and we have put something. Let's overwrite it again to show you that this is actually the flip-flops. Oops. 
uh, let's choose an address that's right one of, that's one above it. So this shows shows you which one is on at the moment, which row. So I've chosen the second row, and it seems I have nothing written onto it. So let's just choose everything on except for the last, uh, first, except for the first one. Write that to the address. And there we go. So if we choose back to the first address, we can see that the address is still uh, the non, uh, didn't change at all. So I already have the decoder, the inputs and the outputs, the bin enabler is all connected already. So this is the decoders, that's the decoder. This wood piece over here is the decoder for the uh, X coordinates. This is the D coordinate for the Y coordinate, which is the rows that you can see that goes up and down. And this is the Z coordinates, which selects which slice in the back. So because I, can, uh, I put the, I configure them so that they're designed to be uh, right next to each other in the back. So, and the, uh, the outputs, they go all the way to the top, which you can see the bus for. The fastest uh, bits uh, to written on the first bytes are about two to three seconds. And the longest, which is the last byte, which is all the way back there, all the way back there, is about 30 seconds to read or write. And everywhere you see uh, uh, one continuous band of color from, left or from the left to the right, that is eight, uh, eight bits. Uh, that's one byte. So in one column, there is 58 bytes, and there is 40. Uh, there's 14 rows, basic of uh, bytes. 14 bytes and 58 bytes up and down. So that's uh, 812 bytes in um, one wall or one slice. So there's five, uh, five of these, five of these slices together. So that's about, that's that's 4,060 bytes. So you might be asking, what's so useful besides being the largest amount of um, largest amount of data being stored all at once? Well, this can actually uh, store Minecraft. Uh, this RAM can actually store Minecraft. If you Google Minecraft 4K, you'll see that there is a Minecraft version that is under four kilobytes. So this can actually store the required amount of data, and um, you can. If, you can play with it, you can add, put blocks, uh, destroy blocks, you can walk around it, jump around in it, and but you're only in a 64 by 64 by 64 um, area. But it's still Minecraft in Minecraft, so there's nothing wrong with that. It, so every address has a unique, uh, so every byte has a, ready, has a unique address to them, and you can select, and they're selected from these. Uh, you can also make a little bit. Uh, I was trying to make this into the sound card, um, which works. But uh, since it's uh, all instant uh, for the first first column of RAM, that is, the uh, as it goes further out uh, from the input or the output, it starts to deteriorate and the speed. So it starts coming in chunks, basically. So this is XPC one. I thank you for watching. So this is the. Minecraft first uh, four kilobytes that can run, uh, basically store data for Minecraft in Minecraft or well, Minecraft 4K. Thank you. I just want to put a little shout out to uh, RDF, which is Redstone the, uh, Development Foundation. Uh, they have a lot of Redstone stuff, which I looked at and uh, I analyzed how the uh, how the D flip flop worked, which is how I was able to come up with this uh, configuration. And um, the understanding of how I made a binary decoder was also uh, how I learned it from there as well. This is also binary decoders all the way around here, so that's how I select the addresses. The, uh, but everything else is all my design. Uh, the only thing I can't, uh, I think that's not really my design is the binary decoder. But I built it by hand anyway. I couldn't copy and paste all of it. I copied and pasted half of it, but uh, the rest of it I had to make myself because of uh, of how I was building this, basically. But um, another shout out is to uh, all the um, all the people who actually said that um, 
what I was doing is really compact and they enjoyed it because of uh, how these um, redstones are working so thank you and uh, if I didn't say it already the first kilobyte that I saw on Minecraft was from but for cake 3 uh, Butter, Butter for Cake 3, which is a German YouTuber, and uh, his configuration of the one kilobyte of RAM is actually really cool. It's a, it was kind of compact, but um, if you were if he was trying to make uh, four kilobytes with his configuration, it would have been really big. And this is kind of big, but it's still compact, and it's all in the loaded chunks. And if I didn't say this already, it's about. Uh, 220, uh, 231 wide from going from left to right, uh, 127 high, and from all the way from over there to this, this end is about 175 or 174 wide. So this is really compact. So I thank you for watching again.